guys, Ninja Dilly here, and we are back with another Mega Bloks unbox, build, and review. Um, this time we are doing the Destiny Mega Bloks. Um, Cabal, Colossus, and Sparrow that comes with a Warlock. Um, it's not its actual name. It's its name is the EV41 Racing Sparrow. I wasn't. A, I didn't have the DLCs when the Sparrow Racing thing was around. Um, but anyways, um, this thing is really cool because it's the first time I've seen a Cabal Colossus, um, especially, in a, uh, Destiny Mega Box. Um, as you can see there, it does not say Mega Box. It says Mega Constructs because Mega Box was, um, sold to another company and I don't know what their name is. I'm pretty sure it's Constructs. Um, yeah. But they were sold um, to constructs, and they just have a different name. Everything is still sick. Which so let's get on with the unbox. All right, so I just got the tape off and opened the box. That's the longest part, so I'm obviously gonna skip that. All right, so let's take a look at this cover. All right, the cover's a little bit new, but it still looks pretty freaking cool. The back is pretty different too. Yeah, that looks cool though. The front just shows picture. What is it going on now? So, oh, also, this has 99 pieces. Really, this is sucked. Okay. Alright, so. Alright. So, here character. Let's look at how many steps there are. Steps, 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 steps. Oh, steps. I love steps. Not bad. It's only 11 steps. Shouldn't take me too long. Um, oh, we have the Omelon weapon in there. And some of the spares, uh, fun pieces. This is one of the 160 speed sparrows because you can tell by the uh, the, the uh, design. Anyways, um, this looks like the stand for the sparrow, and I think I see the stand that comes out of the back of the character and then goes into the uh, ghost, which should... I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. This cabal, Colossus. Pretty freaking amazing. Uh, although you do have to build something on its back, um, because I'm cooking on the guidebook, and you have to build something. Um, but it's looking pretty freaking sick. I'm not too familiar with the uh, factions of the Cabal. I'm just going to assume this is the Skyburner, and then we have our beloved Warlock, who just came out. <laughs> Alright, and that wasn't as hard as I usually have to do it. Like, rip it. Right, so he apparently has a legendary chest. Oh, well, no, should I say rogue? Because it's a warlock. And a legendary head, as is um, what it says in the instructions. But I have no idea what the heck their names are. I'm going to show you guys up close to see if you can tell what it is. I really can't tell because I do not have a warlock, sadly. I am a hunter. I will know anything that's hunter. And then we have um just a, just a normal brown shell. Nothing special. Just a tiny brown shell. And then we'll see what his eye looks like. Um once we get that in him. Let's take this cabal out. Alright, so guys, I will show you the build in fast speed mode. It'll take like probably five seconds because this is a really short build, so um, yeah.
guys, here is everything completed, and we have the Warlock, the Ball Colossus, and the AV-41. Let's take a look at all of these individually. Um, first, let's take a look at the EV-41. So here we are guys, the EV-41 Racing Sparrow. Let me give you a quick spin around. So, um, this thing is looking pretty cool. Um, it looks like one of the normal Sparrows in the game. Um, one of the 160 speed ones, and usually, um, this kind of design Sparrow is a 160 speed. Um, but um, it even has the booster flames coming out of the back, as you can see. Which is really cool. Two uh, short ones for the top and um, one for the bottom. Um, also, this is the other design for the Sparrow, so you can see how that's way different design from this. And has way more color, which is also pretty nice. Um, we also have a few things on here that say SRL on this side. This little bumper says SRL. And then here we have this little... See that right behind the handle says SRL. These are the two handlebars, obviously. And these, these um, like back areas are movable. Go up and down. So guys, let's go on to the next thing, which is the Cabal Colossus. So, here we have the Cabal Colossus. Give me a quick spin around. Alright, so there we have the Cabal Colossus. And, um, on his back, I have to build something and put it on him. Let me take it off him real quick. Just without breaking him. And this is the little pack I had to build and put it on his back. It isn't really, it's not really that hard, it's actually pretty simple. His head is very, very movable. Like, turn it fully around. Um, his gun is very cool, although hard to put in um, to both of his hands, and it breaks pretty easily, as you can, um, see. I just tried to put it in his hand, and it's broke. But, the gun, overall, is really cool. The, uh, ammunition thing is over here, as you can see. And then, the, uh, turret spins, which is cool. Also, one correction. Earlier, I said... I assumed that this was a Skyburner, um, Cabal Faction Colossus. Um, actually, it is a Blind Legion Colossus from that Cabal Faction. So, sorry, just major, major correction. But, um, there we have it, guys, the Cabal Colossus. And let's move on to the Warlock. So, guys, here we have the Warlock. with his ghost, Nova Bomb, and his legendary Dead Orbit Omelon Scout Rifle. So he has a legendary Omelon Scout Rifle, and you can see the Dead Orbit symbol on it, so it's obviously from the Dead Orbit faction. Um, he has a Nova Bomb that he comes with, which is pretty cool. It's hard to get in his hands, though. We have to put it in a specific way. And then we have his ghost with a blue eyeball, time and a brown ghost and it just sticks out of his back with a clear little stick so guys here is the final review we got everything here the cabal colossus his buildable machine gun the ev41 and the warlock with all of his stuff i'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 this is an amazing Thing and it only took me 10 minutes to build. It's really cheap, $10 at Toys R Us. And there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing was hard to put together. It was pretty easy. Especially, um, I like the Colossus and his machine gun, except the fact that it breaks easily, but I'm not gonna take away a point for that. That's kind of stupid. But anyways, this is an amazing 
build. Guys, remember the new name, Mega Constructs, um, since it was bought by Fisher Price, I believe. And um, be looking around for more Destiny and Halo Mega Constructs because around it's around Christmas season, and throughout the month I'll be doing more of these. So, see you guys, and hope you enjoyed.